So in the dice roll again. So this is a tempting hand. We have three lands. Um, we've got a curve. Have a little bit of interaction, but it's slow. Um, if we're playing any sort of unfair deck, we'll probably just lose. But um, what the heck, we'll keep on the play. Run a lord into true name nemesis. So this could be a bad start. Um, seeing that mana crypt means we could be playing uh, like a paradoxical old storm. I mean, it's not the only thing. It could be a lot of decks run mana crypt, but this is definitely not a, a hand built to fight storm. So if we're really just trying to race here, um, we could run out of true name next turn and then go image lord the following turn if we can find another land. Uh, you know, assuming he doesn't have any interaction. So see, uh, this might be a Jace coming down. Or a Mentor. Sower of Temptation, huh? Okay. You got yourself a Lord. So fortunately, um, he grabbed a Lord of Atlantis and not a... Um, Merfolk of the Pearl tried, and fortunately or unfortunately, um, because this this is a universal effect for all Merfolk, whereas the Master of Pearl Trident is just for Merfolk you control. So if I can find a Merfolk like Master of the Pearl Trident for my side, then so do I try to run out? The, then uh, I can kind of break that parity. So do I try to run this true name out into five cards? I lose it to Days, I lose it to Force of Will. I could just run another Lord out. Um, that'll make his Lord bigger. I would run out Master of the Pearl Trident, which would become a 3-3 three, three compared to his 2-2. Two, two. I think I like that. I'm just going to play around Days right now. Honestly, I'm kind of new to, I'm like newer to Vintage. I've been playing um, on and off since August, so I'm not sure how popular their card is, but. So another good thing is that his Lord is giving me Island Walk, whereas um, my Master is not giving him Island Walk. So Sower of Temptation is pretty interesting, actually. Um, it'll never grab a True Name Nemesis, and um, it's not so great in my deck, or against my deck, just because my creatures are all pretty redundant. Um, nabbing any one of them isn't going to um, really ruin my game plan. So I won't want to extend too far here. So that's pretty good. Have a Force of Will. I think I'll make him crack that disc before I do. So, um, before I run anything out, maybe. <laughs> Although I could run another Lord out just to make it more tempting for him to crack that. Um, right now I'm doing him three damage turn, and if I'm swinging, he could deal one, two, three, four, 
five six damage a turn. Um, he does have that mana crypt. Hey, buddy. Oh, thanks for the uh, pretzel. Thanks, bud. Um, it's a football helmet. So I think I'm gonna run this Lord out. I'll get an extra damage in. Um, he's dealing damage to himself with Mana Crypt. He shouldn't waste a force on this um, with a uh, disc in play. So basically I'm just kind of sweetening the deal for uh, him to crack that disc and hopefully have me uh, land a true name next turn with uh, Force of Will back up. Ghost Quarter's fine. I run uh, tons of basics. <laughs> so there's really no reason I don't block my Lord here. I mean, I could hope for a Dismember to try to get my Lord back, but... Um, although if I... If I block the Lord... I'm at 3 damage. Well, it's actually Island Walk anyway, so I can't. Never mind. But if I if I was able to block it, um, and he had a I'm Swords back. of Postures, he'd, he'd be able to get uh, both my Lords. I'm back. Uh, this is a pretzel shaped like a football field. Go. Yeah. Thanks, bud. So unless he's planning to play something on his second main, I don't know why he'd crack that right now. So maybe a mentor is coming out. So there's a standstill. I think I'm going to force this. He's only got three cards. The chance that one's a... Other one. Force is kind of small. Oh, is that a football? Yeah. Thanks, bud. Um, chance that another one's a force is kind of small. He could have, like I said, we got to worry about fours and dace. Force and dace. Days. Um, which, unless I draw a land next turn, running out this true name, you know, those are still going to be risks. Oh, man. Yeah, I, th I think I'm going to force that. Well, I couldn't really draw anything better there other than a cavern. Well, that's great. So I didn't have to fight over it. Um, now we got a force of will. Phantasmal image. Sitting pretty good. Yeah, if you're watching the stream, uh, feel free to let me know if the music's too loud or my voice isn't loud enough or anything like that. Um, I do have some uh, royalty-free, copyright-free music going on. There's not a whole lot of uh, choice out there for that kind of uh, royalty-free, copyright-free music, so I'm kind of stuck with this house music, um, which I don't mind, but I realize it can kind of be grating sometimes, so definitely let me know if it's a problem. And if you're uh, liking the stream, feel free to uh, follow. I uh, just started streaming something like last week, uh, so I don't have a whole lot of followers. Uh, chat's not super active when I'm playing. It would be nice to, uh, you know, get more people. Alright, so I think uh probably doesn't have an answer for the true name nemesis, so... Concedes will go to a. Now I could I could bring in some Stifle actually. So um, playing a Landstill deck, Stifle hits that. 
if they're playing, uh, like we saw last game, if they're playing like Ratchet Bomb or Engineer Explosives, um, which they could be, at least two colors. I think I'm going to get rid of Null Rod. They definitely could be playing some sort of Tinker, Time Vault combo, but I think we'll just... And I'm going to bring in... Uh, but I think we'll just kind of play around, like, just risk it for Game 2 since we're currently up a game. I'm going to bring a Chain of Vapor just in case they have a, uh, you know, like a Moat or a Moat of the Magus, or a Magus of the Moat, uh, something like that. So I think this is pretty good. Um, Stifle also um, can help stop a. Uh, oh, thanks, bud. Is it a one, two? Can help stop a solar fermentation trigger, one? for instance. So this is pretty good. They mulligan to six. I think I'm gonna keep it. I do have a mental misstep. I don't have a force. But they seem like a pretty fair deck, so. So they mulligan down to five. Kept the card on top. Hey, thanks, Winderosa. Music is fine, voice is fine. So add Nightbot in my chat. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that. Uh, like I said, I am new enough. So uh, they're so far behind. Um, I'm gonna kind of bank on their having one land. And depending on the soul ring. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to figure out how to add Nightbot. Uh, so we've got Stifle Mana up. So hopefully if they do have another land, it's a fetch land. Yeah, so this is just kind of nasty. So I'm going to leave the Stifle Mana up, try to catch that Flooded Strand. And then we can start playing like Silver Gold Depth next turn. Okay, so Nightbot is how uh, you kind of see all of those, uh, you know, so-and-so is following um, animations come up on screen. Yeah, I'll be done after this match. Alright, so this hand just keeps getting better and better. So we'll just kind of... Uh, Continue with our card advantage. Play out the Silver Gill, uh, which is really the only thing we can play right now because if we play the Lord, there's no guarantee we're going to draw into another Merfolk to cast the Silver Gill. And we've got Ancestral Recall up for next turn if we don't have to use this Stifle. Hey, thanks, Windrosa. That'd be great. Get Nightbot up and running. So currently this Flooded Strand sort of represents his only source of uh, continuous colored mana. He's got the Lotus Petal, but uh, if we can catch this Flooded Strand with a Stifle, I'm pretty sure that that's just going to be uh, pretty, pretty backbreaking for them. Hmm. So they could be playing around Stifle. If I use this uh, Ancestral Recall, they'll be able to crack their fetch. So I'm just going to run out of Lord. I guess I could have used a Phantasmal Image on the Silver Girl Adept and left up uh, two blue, one for Ancestral and one for Stifle, but... And uh, actually in retrospect, I, I kind of wish I had done that. Because now we're kind of stuck with this wasteland that we're not probably going to use. So he's going to swords that lord. Um, I think that's fine. If, if he tries to activate the Mistress Factory, we're just going to wasteland it. Yeah, so... 
Alright, so we won that one.